In this lecture, we will discuss about calculated column and major in Power BI. So basically, we will see what is this calculated column, what are the majors in Power BI, and we will see when we should create calculated column and when we should create majors. Now, a calculated column uh, we can create by using the DAX expressions. Basically, when we when when we want to evaluate row by row in the table. So that means when you will use the formula or when you add the expression, then each row will be evaluated and a value will come. And calculated column sto uh, stores values in the in the memory uh, like any other column which will have in the uh, table. And the calculation is done uh, when refreshing the report in Power BI desktop. On the other side, measures are used to calculate aggregations like sum, sum x, average, calculate like this. So in those scenarios, it will not evaluate row by row. And measures are calculated at the time of query and they are not stored in the database or in the memory. Um, and so it is faster basically. Now next question comes is when, when to use the calculated column and when to use the measure. The answer is simple. If you want to calculate row by row, then go for a calculated column in Power BI. But if you want to uh, uh, calculate or if you want, if, if your requirement is for aggregation or you need to have a filter criteria for your report, then in that case you will create a measure. Now what we will do is we will uh, create a, a report in Power BI desktop and then we will see how we can use this as well as we will see the visualization also how it, it, it will appear. Now let me uh, open Power BI desktop and on this basically I have the same Excel that we used previously, it's the sales uh, report uh, uh, Excel and we will use the same Excel file in this scenario also. So I'll just close it and click on Excel and uh, then I will take uh, my file here. So in this case, it is the products Excel file. Click on open and uh, there is one uh, sheet will be there. You can see here and I will say load data. So in this, this is the Excel file. So uh, it is same. Um, the data type will become uh, almost correctly for all the columns. So we don't need to do much uh, data modification on this. That's the reason I directly come over here. Now on this data tab, you will see here we have column product name, price, quantity, customer, customer location, unit deliver and sales person. So in this case, I want to calculate the total cost. For example, in this case, it is laptop and you have the price and quantity. So I want to add a column which will calculate each row, uh, row and it should give me the price into quantity. That will be the cost for each uh, item over here. Now for this, I you can see here there is a new column uh, uh, button is there. Click on this and uh, when you will do this, you can see here it is asking for the name. So total cost. So basically this is uh, the column name and then we are going to write the formula. So in this case, it will be price into quantity. So if you type on price, then it will show you uh, uh, the table name uh, and the column name into in this case, uh, it is quantity. So if you'll see here, now sales uh, sheet one, then quantity. You can see here, I'll click on enter. So you can see here, one column has been added and it is added, the value is calculated for each row. And you can see here, it is coming here in total cost. Now I will go to this uh, uh, report. And on this, if you'll see here, I will take a table so you can see here, there's a table I have added and we will add two column here. One thing is the product name and the other one is the total cost. So if you'll see here now, only this many columns is coming because it's sum everything. So instead of that, what you can do is just right click on uh, or right click on uh, this column. So total cost is the column that I'll right click and I will say don't summarize. So you see here it didn't summarize and now if you'll see here we have all the records. So it is desktop and then the cost and things like that. If you want to add more columns, for example, I will want to add the quantity as well as the price here. So you can see here now it is showing the quantity and price. So each quantity and price you can see the total cost it is appearing in this column. 
so this is how we can use uh, our calculator column now on the other side i want to now find out what is the total revenue i have so that means for each row um, uh, for each whatever the entire table i want to have a sum of this total cost so i will create a measure for this because we are doing a aggregation so I'll go to the home tab and you can see here there's a new major column is there major option is there button is there click on that and then you can see here this is our major so major equal to so first one is the name so i will say revenue and the revenue equal to i will say sum of total cost so in this case our total cost is this one so our table and you can see here total cost is coming i'll click on enter now if you'll see here look at notice one thing here the revenue column has been added in the field list here you can see here this is the column but it didn't appear for each row now understand the difference when you are creating a calculated column and creating a major but this one we can still use in the report so what i'll do here is i'll go to this uh, report uh, our report and i will add a visualization in this case i'll add a card so you can see here in this case i will just track the revenue field here and you can see here it is showing me the total revenue um, is 2 million and if you want to change little bit in terms of thousands if you want to see then you can click on the format expand data label and here in the display unit make it 2000 so if you will see here now now this is exactly the number uh, what is this the total number uh, 2396k uh, this is the sum of all these uh, columns you can see here this is the total cost sum and uh, so now if, if we saw this how we can use the calculated column and how we can use the major here I will also add this report in, in, in the video so you can download it you can check the formulas also here